Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're absolutely spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look at where I've got. So this was new. Cathedral City. Our cheesy potato and bacon bake. Topped with crispy breadcrumbs, cheddar cheese and smoked bacon. It does look good, doesn't it? Um, Cathedral City have been bringing quite a lot of new food out. So... You know, we've got to try it, haven't we? It's 500 grams and there is the serving suggestion. Now this was three pounds and 50 pence. So let's have a look at the packaging. There is some nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. And they are the ingredients there, look. So we've got a few allergens in there. We've got milk, wheat and mustard. Potatoes, 46%. Cathedral City Extra Mature Cheddar Cheese, 14%. Pork belly, oh, we all like a bit of pork belly. So you do it in the oven, look, from frozen, which this is. 45 to 50 minutes. Fan 180, gas 6. Little GB sticker down the bottom there, look. So let's have a look, let's get this open and see what we have got. Oh, look at that. Oh, you just know it's going to be cheesily good with potatoes and bacon. It's got to be. Perfect for a Sunday roast. This stick a slab of that on the side. Oh, yes. It's peel seal test time. Let's get this seal off. See if we can get it off. You've got to remove the seal. Right. So you're going to need, you're going to need a knife or some scissors because that ain't... That is not peeling off. Absolutely no way, Jose. Yeah, it's a shame that, isn't it? So we'll get the old scissors on. Give it the old round and about technique. So you're not in, you're not moving it. You know, you're not getting rid of all the plastic. And I, I would like to, because I, I don't want any of that to melt and go on the food. You could, you could take it out, look. <laughs> Have a look at that. It's a big block of cheese and potato. <laughs> Could even put it in a different dish if you want. I think I might have to do that actually, because it's. I'm going to do this in the air fryer on the bake setting, and I've got a feeling that this sort of this all this plastic is going to melt. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in this. I'm going to get rid of all that. That's a lot better, isn't it? Put it in the air fryer at 170 for 30 minutes and we'll just go, you know, we'll monitor it from that. So if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please maybe consider subscribing. It does help the channel. And let me know if you've had this already before. I've had, I've had this in my chest freezer up there for about two weeks now. Just forgot about it, as you do. Right, I'm going to have, just getting this on now, I'm just going to finish some painting off. So I'll bring you back in a bit. I jumped the gun again. There's a bit of spiel about it here. It tells you exactly what it is. And it's 500 grams as well. Our cheesy potato and bacon bake. Cooked sliced potatoes in a creamy Cathedral City extra mature cheddar cheese sauce with cooked diced smoked bacon, red Leicester cheese and uh, pecorino and rigato cheeses sprinkled with toasted breadcrumbs, grated Cathedral City extra mature cheddar cheese and roasted diced smoked bacon I'm gonna to have to have a look at the calories here because I, I, I do look at them but I don't if you know what I'm saying so let's say uh, we got quarter of a pack oven baked if I can keep that still going all over here uh, 183 calories for a quarter of a pack I was thinking it's gonna be a lot more than that so times that by four who's good at maths Right, and I will bring you back now when it's done. It's done. Let me get a bit, a bit of light for you. Have a look at that. This is that. I'm not going to tell a lie. I've been nursing this. Because it's done in the air fryer, I, I set it off at 170 for 30 minutes. Um, and I, I basically I turned it out at 160 because I was scared of it all sort of burning on top because the heat's coming directly from the top. I've had the thermometer in and it's up to over 75 degrees. 
it does look pretty good I'll be honest it's 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 nice and crisp as well I'll get <laughs> fingering it I'm fingering it I'm not now I've got the old spoon on the situation have a look at that that's the only problem with um, the air fryer I could have put it in the oven but it, what is it 50 minutes 45 to 50 minutes so you're looking about an hour aren't you with your preheating and you can forget about it and you know when you come back it's going to be okay but it's a long time isn't it 36 minutes I did it in the N4 did the last six minutes at 160 so considerably a lot less on the old electricity bill I'm going to get into it now I am going to get into this oh look at that Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. I can't wait for this. It's got to be so, it's got not to be cheesy, hasn't it? It does look dry though. That's the thing. It does look dry, but I'll, I'll, I'll basically, I'll lift it all up in a minute and we'll have a good look at it. Because that's another disadvantage with the old air fry. It doesn't have to dry things out. Good for chips. Mm. Oh, it's salty. It is salty. So it's it's a little bit, it's obviously more moist under here. Have a look at that. It's a lot more moist as you get into it. Oh, very moist now. Very moist. Dripping. We've got a dripper. A moist dripper. Oh, look at all that cheese. A cheesy moist dripper. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can't wait for this. It's going to be red hot as well. Mm. Oh, that is good. That is cheesy, tasty, the crisp bacon on the crunchy bread breadcrumb topping. Mmm. Oh, that is good. That is, I'm going to struggle not eating all of this now. I'm going to save some for my nippers and good lady. We'll have it for our tea later. Look at that. Look at the potatoes as well. Mmm. What's not to love? get a look at that it is good it really is good it's not cheap mind but it's cathedral city what do you expect look at that look at all that cheese cheese sauce in there oh. all right one more mouthful I, I, don't, I'm just, I could wolf a lot of that down now I did work it out was it 732 calories I think Mm. I know you can make your own, can't you? You know, but oh, that is good. That is tasty. I can't stop eating it. The bacon's nice as well, but it is salty. It is salty. It's cheesy and salty. Hmm. And the bacon's nice and smoky. I'm liking it, I really am. For the taste and the flavour, it's a 9 out of 10. It, it's, it's, it's good. So thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Thanks to all the lovely, lovely new um, foodies who've joined the channel, subscribers. Lovely people out there, that's who you are. It's been great. It's been a roller coaster. Uh, absolutely superb. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.